Hey Z Stars, what's good in the hood? It's your girl Zara, aka Epic Zara, and I'm back with another video. Thank you so much for joining me. If this is your first time here, welcome. Subscribe to my channel. It's really awesome and really pop in. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. You guys are my loyal subscribers, my loyal friends and family. Thank you so much. Now, today, I'd like to talk about body odor, which is a pretty sensitive topic, but we're going to talk about it and how to get rid of it. Now again, I know this is an extremely sensitive topic, but we're gonna get down and dirty, figuratively speaking, of course. But I'd like to talk to you guys about some very common scenarios, especially in Nigeria. And I'd also like to discuss how to solve these problems. So make sure you stay tuned and watch the entire video so you don't miss any of these life-changing tips and tricks. Let's get right into the video. But of course, before we do, I have to remind you guys to do the four very simple things I always remind you to do. So please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It lets me and YouTube know that you're feeling this type of content. Please be sure to comment down below. Let me know what kinds of crazy situations that body odor has put you through, whether it's somebody else's or your own. <laughs> Be sure to share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones. And last but never ever least, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notifications so you know every time I post a new video. Thank you so much and let's get right into this extremely interesting topic. So as long as you live in a tropical country such as Nigeria, Jamaica, Malaysia, etc., and or a country that has a summer, you really need to be extremely conscious of your body odor and if you don't take the necessary precautions, chances are you're going to be smelling. Being consistent with your hygiene is extremely important and the information I'm about to share with all of you is for every single person. Young, old, man, woman, non-binary. It's for everyone, regardless of age, regardless of gender, regardless of creed, ethnicity, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, all that stuff they used to say in those kinds of speeches. But um, <laughs> life is not just about having a fine face, having nice hair, no, 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 no. People will remember how you smell <laughs> before they remember how you look. So if you have friends that have poor body odor, show them this video. If you know that your body is not always at a hundred as far as the odor goes, please stop oppressing people and get that sorted out by watching this video. <laughs> Now again, I know this is the third or fourth time I'm saying this. This is a very sensitive topic. But if you're a good friend, a good family member, a good lover, you're going to let your friend, family, significant other, whoever, know that they're having an odor. You're going to have to approach it gently, of course. And like I said, you can show them this video. Now let's get right into the scenarios. I don't want to waste any more time. And this is a very pressing matter. In Nigeria, obviously it's a very tropical climate, super hot. So it's easy to experience unpleasant body odor simply because people are sweating a lot more than in a country where it's winter, you feel me? Or a more temperate environment. So, I mean, there have been plenty of occasions where men have tried to chat to me and they're legit like smelling from their mouth to their body to everywhere. I'm like, fam, like if you're not smelling like a trip to Milan, a trip to the Swiss Alps or a trip to Abu Dhabi, please. Flicks, 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 do not come and chat to me. If I cannot smell your oud from Jerusalem, I don't want to hear anything, please. One of the primary issues I have with body odor, especially in Nigeria, where it's like super hot all the time, is when I'm taking like an Uber or a Taxify, and my Uber or Taxify guy is legit hotboxing me inside his car with the AC all the way on, circulating some foul body odor like my guy. Usually I carry around perfume with me. I have a purse perfume that I, you know, just spray to give myself well, refresh. I'll usually spray that in the car or I'll tell my taxifier Uber driver to please roll down the windows and turn off the AC because really I can't come and kill myself. If the wind wants to blow my wig away, so be it. I'd rather be breathing fresh air than having slayed hair. <laughs> Bars. Now to all my Uber and taxify drivers, there's a very simple remedy to taking care of all of these issues. Now oft times, it's a passenger that has foul body odor. So if you're experiencing this, here's what to do. Now keep an air fresher in your car, please. Be sure to roll down the window after your passenger departs. Be sure also to maintain your own body hygiene. But the body hygiene of course will be in the second half of this video. So please be sure to stay tuned because these tips will legit change your destiny. Now, a lot of families in Nigeria have house helps. Those families do not necessarily have to be earning a high income. In this particular society, it's common to have like a maid or a steward or a chef, etc., 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 right? So, house helps, I have a message for you. 
you cannot be polluting the air and the environment within which you work with your body odor. And employers, please notify your household staff if they are not necessarily smelling beautiful. Educate them about body hygiene. Now, there are definitely a lot of people that are not necessarily privileged enough to have that kind of information. There are also a lot of people who cannot necessarily afford deodorant. Now, if you don't want to go the extra mile and buy your household staff deodorant, then please at least purchase alum. It's extremely inexpensive and it actually kills the odor causing bacteria. It's something that I use and love and we'll get more into that, of course, in the second half of the video. Y'all, in my own household, smelling nice and maintaining good body hygiene is actually pretty important. If you cannot keep up, it's grounds for dismissal. Straight up, we don't be playing. Now, Nigerian banking home. My goodness, do we need to wear gas masks to enter your establishment? Like, fam, the least you can do is invest in some true odor eliminating air fresheners because I'm tired and I'm sure everyone else is really tired. Like, y'all should be circulating and changing out the air in there, but legit, it's like a hot box of sweat and body odor and struggle. I mean, with all the money that goes missing in this country, you think that some of it could be casually invested in something that would freshen the air within the bank. Now guys, I know I'm touching on everywhere and if I'm gonna hit most sectors of society, we also need to hit churches. And look, it's the house of the Lord. Y'all are not exempt though. I'm just letting you know now. <laughs> so y'all, please don't come for me after this video. I just am keeping it 100 and that's the way we do things on this channel. Look, see, a lot of people are not aware that they have body odor. It's really, really sad, but there are those who are actually aware and are very wicked. So if you know that your body does not smell pleasant stop suffocating us and do something about it it's not right especially in the house of god no it's not okay how will you enter the house of the lord without bathing without freshening yourself and you're expecting the person sitting next to you on that beautiful pew to be able to focus on praying for their deliverance it's not possible i know if i'm in that kind of situation my mind will just be turning on own. did i use that correctly <laughs> But my mind will just be turning up and down and I'm like, oh my god, I can't breathe. Bro, it's not cool. Pastors, please. The usher should not only be there to collect your congregation's money, they should also be there to maintain a sound environment. And part of maintaining that sound environment is allowing them to spray air freshener that actually eliminates odor. While y'all are sitting up there in the pulpit with your beautiful ouds and your expensive scents, the rest of us are suffering in the back of the congregation with the people who do not have the etiquette to excuse themselves to the lavatory to pass gas. And then all of us will be sitting there straight faced because obviously we cannot exclaim how can I be in church suffering near death through inhalation like it's not fun y'all it's not fun now what's very interesting and rather disheartening is that every time I enter a flight to Nigeria in particular or any tropical country actually, the different odors that hit me range from obviously very pleasant and very expensive to quite unpleasant. And that's not cool. Like Nigerian airlines do better. Airlines abroad do better. If you're in a tropical environment, you should already be privy to the fact that you're going to need to ensure that the air is a bit fresher. People cannot help but sweat. And there are people with health conditions that become more apparent when they're sweating. They are incapable of doing much about their body odor because of the state of their internal organs. Airline owners, I'm begging you, please put air freshener in your budget for your airplane. And as for you rich men, if you're trying to toast someone in business class, please be brushing your teeth three to four times a day as opposed to the regular two. Maybe use mouthwash. That will prevent mouth odor. Like personally, I know when my mouth does not smell okay. There's usually a taste that would indicate hey girl you probably like pop some gum in there use mouthwash brush your teeth whatever it's not cute so i'm not necessarily sure why people are not aware of the mouth odor in particular now i understand how people can get used to body odor because if you're exposed to certain odors long enough you will become desensitized but like mouth odor come on y'all so more on this mouth odor issue fasting is no excuse to be having a foul mouth odor some people will literally be told that yeah, your breath is not necessarily fresh and you're like, oh, I'm fasting. Okay, if you know you're gonna be fasting, you can carry around a toothbrush and some toothpaste and some mouthwash. You really don't need to be oppressing us with your mouth odor. And for more public environments, public buses, public transport services, I'm coming for you too. Like for the sanity of most of your passengers, please invest in some air freshness. There was this one commercial actually I saw, I can't remember 
exactly what the product they were selling was, but everyone on the public transport bus was literally gagging because of the body odor of one of the passengers. So, I mean, these things are very much real world issues. A lot of people don't talk about it, but I'm here to talk about it today. So now that we've talked about these very, very relatable scenarios, especially in a country like Nigeria, where it's very hot and very tropical, we're going to talk about how to solve these problems. Now, I'm also an American, so it's not as if white people don't be smelling, they really do. But the primary difference is that in America, clean water is pretty much the norm. So if you're going to bathe, you probably don't have to use heavy cleansers or detergents simply because the water you're using is already very, very clean and it's been through a rigorous cleansing process. When I'm back home, my body care routine is not as deep. The water is very clean. I don't have to worry about treating it myself. However, in this country, I do have to take extra steps to ensure that my body smells nice for days on end. Even when I don't bathe, I smell very fresh. Though I bathe every day, obviously, because I sweat. <laughs> A lot of people are not necessarily aware of this, but a major key to getting rid of odor, dirt, and debris is exfoliating regularly. Bark. So the parts that you need to exfoliate in order to really and truly eliminate odor are your hands, under your arms, you need to make sure that you're exfoliating the bottom of your feet and the outer portions of your as a woman. Now as a man, you have to exfoliate, period. And if you're not you need to make sure that you're lifting up the skin to clean yourself properly. You need to ensure that you're exfoliating. It's extremely important. And one of the major secrets, regardless of the type of soap that you're using, to eliminating odor-causing bacteria. Now, this is not necessarily a good option for everyone, and it is important to avoid soaps that contain triclosan because triclosan apparently is a known carcinogen. Now, you should do your own independent research to determine whether or not you want to avoid that particular ingredient, but as for me, I'd rather just play it safe. Now, why is it important to use antibacterial soap? In this kind of environment where the water is not necessarily clean, you need to ensure that you're taking extra steps to kill bacteria actively. So that's why I personally enjoy using antibacterial soaps. Currently, however, I use a mild black soap that has antifungal and antibacterial properties. And because I exfoliate so regularly and so rigorously, I actually don't have odor issues. Now what you could try actually as an alternative to antibacterial soap and something that has antibacterial properties is a solution of hydrogen peroxide and water. What you do is you take one teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide and you combine it with eight ounces of water. And of course you put that on your affected areas, underarms, groin, under your feet. Make sure you don't put it inside your if you're a woman, please. I'm not telling you to do that, don't put anything up there, but it will definitely help eliminate odor and kill odor-causing bacteria. If your water has microorganisms in it, chances are you will develop body odor because the water is not clean. Now, if that is an issue you're experiencing, be sure to use an antiseptic. My personal favorite is Savlon. It's a very sweet scent and I love how clean it keeps me and it does not irritate my sensitive skin. Now, a lot of people opt for Dettol because, I mean, it's tried and true, tested, it's been around for decades and it's very, very easy to get. But if you want a sweeter scent, try something mild like Savlon. It works just as well as Dettol. Now, I don't really need to use Savlon unless I'm in Lagos because the water in my house is actually very clean. So I just maintain my body cleanliness with my normal black soap. Occasionally, I'll use a soap that has some antibacterial properties. I don't know how anybody goes through life without wearing deodorant personally, and I understand that some people are like, oh, I don't want to use aluminum. Well, I mean, a deodorant does not contain aluminum. In most cases, it's usually antiperspirant that contain aluminum so that you don't sweat. There's a big difference between antiperspirant and deodorant. Now, I personally, as my primary deodorant, like to use potassium alum. Now, this is a bit controversial and people will say, oh my God, you're not supposed to use alum on your body. 
but look that's just a myth that all the people in the west are trying to sell you so that you spend big bucks on commercial deodorants instead of using the earth to keep your body really clean now i contribute my otherworldly freshness to potassium alum the molecules are actually too large to be absorbed by the skin so you're not going to hurt yourself if you're using it aside from that it's extremely potent when it comes to killing odor causing bacteria so if you want to smell like an angel 24 7 if you want to smell fresh use potassium alum now personally i'm trying to switch to an all natural scented commercial deal that i can layer on top of my potassium alum because i mean i don't have a scent there if i use just the potassium alum but i would like to have you know some sort of like cute little scent that way if anyone wants to you know sniff sniff or whatever it's like oh my god girl you're so fresh that's what we want all the time you know attention them with our beautiful scents okay guys so it looks like it might rain but we're gonna get through the rest of this video with this natural light setup i have going on so anyway next on the agenda wash your clothing oh please please i beg of you if your clothing is the root cause of your body odor then you're not washing it properly be sure to focus especially on your underarm and region when you're washing your clothing scrub rigorously use antibacterial soap or natural alternatives again to antibacterial soaps include hydrogen peroxide and water you can also use lemon and water white vinegar and water orange peel and so many more things to naturally ensure that your clothing smells really fresh one of my personal favorites is mixing baking soda into my water and soaking my clothing that ensures that all the bacteria is killed, odor is eliminated, and my clothing smells as fresh as I do. Don't let your clothing fall your hand, y'all. Don't let your clothing be the reason why you can't be smelling like a prince or a princess or a non-binary royal. Yes. <laughs> Personally, I never have body odor. There are times when my body is not at its peak, but if I actually don't smell correct, chances are the person doing my laundry did not do it properly. So if that's the case for you, just take your laundry into your own hands and sure that it's actually truly clean. Now, I hope I don't get demonetized for saying all of this, but you guys need to know this information, so we're going to proceed regardless of the consequences. <laughs> Lemon, lime, and H2O2 are exceptional ways to eliminate body odor. Now it's extremely, extremely important to dilute these in water, of course, but be sure to put it on sensitive areas. Armpits, obviously, under your feet again, and your If you're a woman, please do not insert into your that is extremely, extremely risky, dangerous, and could totally mess up your pH balance. You are not to put anything inside your However, you can put it around your so the outer region. Now, of course, I don't want to be extremely specific, but um, that includes mouth area, not the actual interior plate, and then everywhere around that. So you can actually use these to clean those areas and cleanse those areas. But again, be careful and be sure to dilute with plenty of water, typically eight ounces to like a teaspoon or a few drops of lemon or lime is really appropriate. If you feel that you need to adjust the ratio, do so, but please, please do research and do it at your own risk. Of course I'm not, y'all. If you want to make maintaining body cleanliness easier, it's just advisable to eliminate body hair. It's the same concept as having hair on your head versus having a bald head, which is easier to maintain cleanliness with. Obviously a bald head because you don't have to worry about cleansing your hair as well. Now, if you have body hair, your hygiene game has to be super on fleek because you have to ensure that you're actually washing the body hair properly, that all the debris is being removed from the body hair, and then it's drying so that the moisture does not cause any kind of yeast or other ailments. So body hair can be stressful. Personally, I like to be really bald like everywhere. I like to wax and it just suits my lifestyle and it suits this very, very hot environment. Part of eliminating body odor is keeping certain parts of the body dry because sweat is what bacteria feed on. So as opposed to keeping hair in those sensitive areas, especially if you're in a hot country like this, it's probably better to just get rid of it and make maintaining your cleanliness that much easier. <laughs> 
Now this to me is a bit of a no brainer. Obviously blood and fecal matter are very difficult to completely eliminate without water and some sort of cleansing agent. Now obviously it might be a bit difficult when you're out and about to be taking a bath, <laughs> but what you might consider is carrying around baby wipes or wipes for feminine sensitive area. So what would you do with those wipes? Of course you would cleanse yourself always front to back. Urinary tract infections are real. And be sure that you're using wipes that are not only pH balanced, but also hypoallergenic, fragrance free, and for sensitive skin. Even if you feel you don't have sensitive skin, you don't want to disturb that very sensitive environment, whether you are a man or a woman or non-binary. <laughs> now some things you can do internally to ensure that you don't have body odor are these. Certain studies have actually shown us that men who avoid these foods have a more pleasant body scent. Now why is that? These foods actually can cause stomach irritation which triggers a body odor response. And that's not cute, so I mean you might as well just change up your diet and avoid those things. They're not that great for you anyway. <laughs> If it smells on the outside, it has the potential to cause a body odor problem on the outside. Do not consume these foods in excess. Now personally, I love onions, so it can be a bit challenging sometimes trying not to overeat them. But it's really, really important if you want to smell beautiful 120% of the time. Change your diet. Sometimes fatty foods, strong smelling foods, or oily foods can seep through your pores and actually cause body odor. Now those foods include curry, onions, garlic, I mean, of course we've already mentioned onions and garlic but there are a number of other foods that like actually cause similar responses so it's best to of course again avoid them in excess but be sure to speak to a doctor and or dietitian before making such drastic dietary changes <laughs> Now, fruits and veggies, of course, are super important. They keep your bowels functioning at peak. And then the foods that I've mentioned in particular actually aid the body with detoxification, especially lemon. And pineapple and cranberry are really good for feminine health. Show me that you're not take it up drink a lot of water. Water is a natural detoxifier and it's probably the one thing on the planet that really, really keeps all life going. Our bodies are more than 70% water, so why would you assume that you don't need water in order to thrive? Aside from that, water enables your lymph system to properly drain itself. It actually feeds your blood and does so much for your internal organs. So, I mean, really, what can I say? Just drink your water. Um, drink a lot of water. Especially if you're suffering from chronic body odor issues, if you actually like consider fasting with water only, you'll find that those issues will go. But of course, before embarking on any type of fast, please consult your doctor and or dietitian. I'm not a doctor or a dietitian. I'm a musician, so I literally cannot be giving you health advice. This is something though that has worked for a lot of people and there are a lot of interesting testimonials surrounding eliminating body odor and drinking water for like seven days, only water, no food, nothing. So look into that if you're suffering. Now I'd like you all to share with me your craziest body odor experiences. Like where have you been? and body odor wanted to kill you. Have you ever suffered body odor? How did you deal with it? I'd like us to help each other because this is something that I personally am quite passionate about, about personal hygiene. And then of course, this is something that's extremely important if you want to make a really good impression. So I hope this was extremely helpful. You guys don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know exactly what you've been through, exactly what you'd like to see from me next. What more should we talk about when it comes to body hygiene and body cleanliness? and feminine health and hygiene because I'm a woman, I identify as a woman, so I do want to talk about that. Be sure to share this with your friends and your loved ones and anybody who needs this video. And last but never least, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. Okay guys, thank you so much. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. I spend my money, do you like that? She back it up and then I pipe that I bite your neck, now would you bite back? Yeah, I do it like this, do it like that, yeah, yeah and She put it on me, then I write that She back it up and then I pipe that I bite your neck, now would you bite that? Yeah, I do it like this, do it like that So we can keep it on the low, on the low Yeah, my partner gon' know